Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video uh, will discuss NPN transistor bias um, uh, and uh, primarily we will be solving example 6.2 which is this example here. So before we solve let's have some concept. First of all uh, many students are confused about the symbol when both the letters are capital and when one letter is smaller and one is capital. When both are capital, that means it is it is representing the DC value. So this is DC current. But when one uh, or the first one is a small letter and the second one is capital letter, that means it is representing instantaneous value, which may include AC and DC as well. Okay, now the concept from this circuit, this, this is the question. We'll uh, use this to build this concept. Now the question says that the transistor in fig figure has a beta of 100. So this transistor has a beta 100. Exhibits VBE 0.7 volt at IC 1 milliampere. So this voltage VE is 0.7 when the current IC through this is 1 milliampere. Now we have to design a circuit so that a current of 2 milliampere flows. So this current will now be 2 milliampere through the collector and a voltage of 0.5 appears at the collector. So this voltage will be 0.5. So the, the concept that I want to highlight is generally these are the terminologies that are used. The collector voltage or the battery voltage supplying the collector is called VCC. Then the collector voltage itself is called simple VC. Similarly, the battery supplying to the emitter is called VEE and the emitter voltage is called VE. And similarly, if there is a battery supplying base, it will be called VBB and the base voltage itself will be called VB. Now, Design means we have to find the value of RC and we have to find the value of RE to meet the uh, given parameters. So RC and RE. And from here you can see that IC current will be VCC minus VC. VCC minus VC divided by RC. And from here we can calculate RC to be VCC minus VC divided by IC and similarly for this circuit the current will be VE minus VEE divided by RE. Now remember that we are following the conventional current and similarly RE will be VE minus VEE divided by IE. Now let's go to the solution of the circuit these parameters we have already learned. So the first scenario is that there is a 1 milliampere current and VBE is 0 0.7 volt. The second scenario is that the current is 2 milliampere. We have to find this voltage or make sure that this voltage is 5 volt and we have to find new value of VBE and then we have to find RE and RC. A point uh, which has been uh, discussed in the uh, book, I just want to um, highlight that, is saying that we are required to design VC 5 volt. So this is 5 volt. The CB junction will be reversed bias. So this is character based junction will be reversed bias because 5 here and 0 here. Now if you look at this diagram, it's the same. Neg the N terminal and the P terminal and the N terminal. Now if N is positive and P is negative, this will be reverse bias. So that is what is happening here. This is positive and this is ground. So this is reverse bias. But in the base circuit, if uh, base is positive and emitter is negative, this is forward bias. 
So here also the emitter is negative and base is positive, so this is forward. Now when a transistor base emitter is forward and base collector is reversed, then we call that this transistor is acting in active mode. So that is why he has said that the BJT will be operating in active mode. Now this is for your knowledge, this has nothing to do with this question or this solution of the question. Okay, now how do we find RC? If you find the, if you know the voltage drop here, which is 15 minus 5, that is 10 volt, we know the current, therefore we can find RC. So the voltage drop is 10 volt. Current is 2 milliampere. So RC is voltage divided by current 5 kilo. So one parameter we have found. Now we need to find RE. So RE can find if we can find VBE. Then from this circuit, uh, we can use this formula that Re is Ve minus this voltage Vwe divided by Ie. So primarily we need to find Ve and Ie to find Re. Now how do we find Ve? So look from here Vb minus Vb Ve is plus Vbe. So Vb minus Ve is plus Vbe. And so VE will be VB minus VB from here. Now VB is zero, the grounded. So we need to find VBE. This is new VB, not 0 0.7 that we had learned earlier. So we have to find this new VBE. And for this, we have to take help of the diode. Uh, chapter of diode where we had found that a diode could have two voltages uh, for two currents. This was the formula that we had used. So we'll use this same formula here. In our case, VB 0.7 volt and IC 1 milliampere. These are the V1 and I1. Then I2 is 2 milliampere, we have to find V2. So we can say that VBE, from here VBE is V2, V1 is 0 0.7, is equal to VT log natural, I2 is 2 milliampere and I1 is 1 milliampere. So VB will be this, Putting in the value of Vt, which is the uh, voltage due to uh, th thermal voltage, 25 millivolt, this is standard. Log natural of 2 over 1 or log natural of 2 is 0 0.693. So Vbe is 0 0.717 volt. Now we put in this to find Ve. So Ve will be minus 0 0.717 volt. Now that we have found VE, we can find uh, RE, but we need IE still. So how do we find IE? For that, we'll use this formula. IC is alpha IE, where alpha is beta over beta plus 1. So from here, we can say that IE is IC over alpha. I see we have calculated already to, uh, sorry, it has given 2 milliampere. Alpha we need to calculate. So from here, beta is 100, so alpha will be 100 divided by 100 plus 1 is equal to 0 0.99, this formula gives you. So IE will be, I see 2 milliampere, alpha 0 0.99, 2.02 milliampere. Now that we have found both VE and IE. We can find RE from this relation, plugging in the value of VE and this was VE, this is IE. So RE 7.07 .07 kilo ohm. And so our the new design circuit will be RC 5 kilo and RE 7.07 .07 kilo. So I hope uh, you have been able to follow this and you can solve similar questions. Thank you.